five. <laughs> well, uh, Mark, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give a girl a clue. Is this a, mm -hmm. is this a little surprise, or is it a big one? Oh, this is a great big one. <laughs> Open. Max. Mm -hmm. Oh my goddess. This looks just like our bed from the Mountain Sunset Inn. Luna, it is our bed. This is no reproduction. Look at, the, look at the marks, look at the scratches. This is a real antique. Yes. It's got a real history to it, too. Some of that history, I think, uh, we created in it, remember? Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Max? Yes? I gotta know something. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get this thing here so fast? We've hardly made it out of there on that truck ourselves. Details, details. First, we gotta do what all antique lovers do. And they get their purchases home and check out the quality. Mm. Make sure it works as good in town as it does in the country. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy. No, oh, yes, yes, I understand. You're still at home and you're in your bed. No, no, this is not the police. I just, I'm, I'm trying to find out where you were the night of... I understand that. And I'm sorry, sir. I... And thank you very much for your cooperation. Oh, you should have pressed harder. Anyone could say they were in bed the night of Thanksgiving. This guy was confined to his bed for, like, months. So there's no way he was driving a car that forced me off the road and killed Sarah. All right, well, we'll just keep on going uh, through no, the no, list no, of just, license plates. We keep hitting dead ends. I, I feel like this whole thing is nothing Wait, Bo, look at this. Well, I've seen dozens of license plates that start and with M-A or A-M, and all we're doing, we're striking no, 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 out. No, 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 no not this time, are. not this time. Uh, I've got an M-A-3160 and a blue sports car, and it's registered to one Catherine Saybrook. Well, who is... Kiki Saybrook. Marty's aunt. Those are my most precious possessions. Two bottles of champagne and one of vodka. Check with me later and I'll help you spend it. Thank you very much, miss. I thought you checked out this morning. Oh, well, you know, Renee, those workmen, they're still painting my Aunt Kiki's drafty old mausoleum. I had to come right back. All right, but the same rules still apply. No trouble, because... You've been drinking, haven't you? <laughs> what is this, the breath police? Hiya, Preach. Don't start with me, Marty. Don't even start. And feel very, very lucky I don't forget I'm wearing my collar and tell you exactly what I think about you. <sighs> I'll just bet you don't know what to make of me. Oh, yes, I do. Tell you, I'll all right, tell well, you. tell me now. I'm all right. Shh, please, be quiet. Give me a chance here. <laughs> I got a hold of the innkeeper at the Hawk Lodge. He put me in touch with the people that now own the Mountain Sun set in. Darling, even you don't have enough nerve to ask them for this bed after we broke into their place and we stole their truck. We didn't break in. We were unexpected guests and we borrowed the truck, which we only used to bring us home. They understood completely. They did. When I paid for the use, returned the truck, made him a very generous offer on the bed. Now, does that satisfy your curiosity? I guess it does, but... Good. Now, satisfy mine. <laughs> oh, we don't go... Oh, we don't whoa, go whoa, 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 <laughs> Oh, Lord, look at you, you pretty little thing. Scared him to death, Max. That's it. He goes in the microwave this minute. No, don't you, don't you listen to him. That don't mean old Max Valentine. You're a sweet old dog. But what happened to your walk with Nigel and Al? Mr. Holden, 
Okay. We have to talk. Valentine chased a squirrel. And then we chase Valentine. <laughs> <sighs> I understand completely, Nigel. I am developing my own allergy to the mutt. But don't worry, don't give up hope. We left the number with the police. Hopefully his owner will call. Don't you listen to them. We love a little Valentine, don't we, Al? No matter what they say, isn't that right? Look at this. I buy her this great old bed, and the dog gets all the attention. About this dog, if the owners don't claim it, what uh, approach will we take to this, dare I say, difficulty? Oh, 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 oh Nigel, uh, please, you don't have to beg or anything. The dog's yours. I won't stand in your way. Oh, the, oh that's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to pack up Master Al for a sleepover at Tillingham's. Oh, my Lord, we better get on the move then. Hold on, you go ah. get your knapsack, Al, and I'll get your toothbrush. And, um, Max, you better go open another can of dog food for him. Oh, he sure yeah. he eats a lot, doesn't he? All right, now, I'm gonna call the radio station. All right, gang, let's get the move. Let's get the show on the road here. Come on. Come on, Valentine. Let's go, Valentine. One minute I'm in heaven. The next I'm in the Partridge family for the <laughs> Yeah. Marty, I am way beyond mad. I just I just had a very tough two hours trying to piece Leanne Demarest back together again. But maybe you don't know about that, about her breaking up with Jason. Or maybe that was another one of your little jokes, was that it? I don't know what she told you. Are you going to deny it, Marty? Are you going to tell me that wasn't you in bed with Jason when Leanne walked no. into the room? Is that what you're no, going to tell I'm me? I'm not going to deny anything. Believe it to you, self-righteous man of God, to blame it all oh, on oh, the woman. I'm not going to excuse Jason. I find his, 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 his kind of behavior absolutely incomprehensible. But you, Marty... You did it for a lark, and you didn't care who got hurt. Did you ever stop to think that Jason won? No, you're right. It was for fun. Jason and me. He's had it up to here with Leanne's baby troubles. He wanted out, and I was available. Available. You were available. Well, why did you build a Sistine Chapel around everything? It was sex. Pure and simple. Not so simple for Leanne. Not so simple for her. Because after she lost custody of that baby, she had one thing left in her life, Marty. One good thing left in her life, and that was Jason Webb. Oh, and I took that away, huh? Well, maybe, maybe the one good thing wasn't so good. Maybe I did her a favor. A favor? You ruined her life without even trying. I mean, doesn't that even bother you? I mean, what do you do when all this fun is over? Don't you go home and by, by yourself? Do you think? Do you think about Leanne's feelings? Or maybe you don't think about anybody's feelings anymore. Is that it? I mean, can't you even say anything to me? Do you have anything to say to me right now? If you only knew, Andrew. Andrew, sorry, I'm late. I... Hello, Marty. Uh, am I interrupting something? As a matter of fact. No. No, 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 no. You're not interrupting anything. I'm finished. I'm, finished. I'm not. Cassie, you can tell your husband that I do have feelings. And when it comes to Leanne, I have tons of contempt. She's a mousy little nothing who whined her way until she got what she deserved nothing. From now on, I'm going to count on the one person that I can count on. Me, myself, and I. Does that answer your question, Andrew? I gave you the benefit of every doubt all along the way, didn't I? No more. No more. I wash my hands. I wash my hands. given this thing a great deal of thought, probably too much. I mean, it's been back and forth and over and over, and I haven't stopped thinking, especially not since I saw you last. Oh. Well, playing basketball has that effect on me, too. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're trying to be serious. Well, I can't stop smiling when I'm with you, even in the direst situation. You're in love. So am I. The thing is that I think I've overcomplicated everything, and, and they think so, too. Uh-oh. They... Well, my sons and my husband, I think my indecision has made things very, very difficult for them. I mean, in trying to avoid a disaster, I seem to have created one. Well, I have never given you a timetable, if they have. No, 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 they haven't. They, but they certainly have a right to an answer. So do you. For heaven's sakes, I've made everybody sit around, hang around, waiting long enough. 
So what are you saying? You're not going back to Clint for yet another try. Not, not forgetting everything that's between us. Everything we've felt. Oh, no. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. If I wanted to, I, I can't. I... For a very long time, you see, I've known that I wanted to be with you. And now I know I need to be with you. Things have just gone too far. I've gone too far for us to, or for me to turn around and then pretend as if nothing had happened between us. Yeah. I am so, so in love with you. Yes. I hate to clean. That's why I love this fantastic. Did you see it? It cuts through grease without leaving the film. Well, we can rule Kiki Saybrook out because just before the night of the accident, I represented Marty in that vandalism case, and her aunt Kiki was out of town. Besides, I've seen Marty drive that sports car plenty of times. You know, even if she was under the influence of something. Bo? What's wrong? Who is it? Marty Sabra. And she's the same age as my nephew, Kevin. Oh, yeah, but she's been living in the fast lane. I mean, if she was drunk, if she'd been drinking, and she lost control of the car... Yeah, but to just drive away like nothing ever happened, like she didn't even give a damn? I always thought that this was probably a total stranger, you know? It never even occurred to me that it could be somebody that I know. Somebody that knew Sarah. Okay, okay. I got this theory rolling. I think I should be the one to put on the brakes here. Look, even if it was Kiki Saybrook's car, we can't prove that Marty was the one driving All right, don't, don't waste your time giving me all the legal fine points here, Nora. Once we prove that it was a Saybrook car... If we can me prove off, it. I, look, I don't care if we can't prove it. I want to talk to Marty. I will bring up the legal fine points here, Bo. Do you want a lawsuit? Oh, Bo, what is wrong? Marty Saybrook is responsible for killing Sarah. That's something I can never forgive or forget. And I don't care how young she is. I don't care how messed up her life is. She is going to wish that she had never been born. Hey, Marty. What are you doing here? Oh, they're still painting my Aunt Kiki's uh, 57 room, so I... Decided to check in here. Is that cool with you, Billy? Sure. I mean, I guess 57 rooms could get kind of lonely. Since you're asking all the questions, what are you doing here? Well, I was just in the lounge visiting a friend. Oh, friend. You mean Rick. Okay, right. We were, uh, going over strategy. That's a new word for it. No, I'm serious, Marty. Man. Tomorrow's D-Day. D, meaning my dad. He and my mom are having lunch with Rick and me, and, uh... Oh, what's the big deal? Your father knows about Rick, right? Well, he thinks he's just a friend. If he figures out that... Well, he knows about you. What does he think? You're gay and you're not going to do anything about it? <sighs> Marty, Marty. It took forever for my dad to accept me for, for, for what I am. You know, as much as he could. But if he finds out that Rick is... Rick's a great guy. And if your father can't deal with it, then the hell is your father? <laughs> Marty? Don't you think it's a little too early to start hitting the bottle? Let's go get some coffee. Early? It's late. Too late. Ask the Reverend. Andrew? I thought everything was okay between you and him and Cassie. He's not cool with me. The truth is, for the first time in my stupid little life, I've done something that I was proud of. Something good and decent. And he can't see it. He still uh, sees me as Marty, the homebacker, Marty the slut. Hey, well, I see you as Marty, my friend, all right? You have a room here, right? Well, let's just go upstairs. No, I'm, like no! I... Thank you very much. I'm not going to be put in my room, locked in my room like some nasty little problem, like something that you don't show to polite society. Marty, I was, I was simply trying no. to... No! 
Don't try so hard, William. There's a lesson to be learned here. Don't be good when you can be bad. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let me check your knapsack. Make sure you got everything. You got your PJs. You got your toothbrush. You got your toothpaste. You got your slippers. <laughs> All right, let me make sure your mittens are on. Well, no, no, he's got everything he needs, which is more than I can say for the rest All of us. All right, let me get my coat and I'll walk you over there. No, 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 no. See, Nigel has to take Valentine for a walk, and he can drop Al off at Dillingham's, can't you, Nigel? But I've already taken the beast, uh, I mean, Valentine, on his <laughs> evening perambulation. Big dogs. Big needs. We don't want to deny him his needs now, do we, Nigel? Hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Tally ho, Master L. You too, wonder dog. Come on. All right, sweetie. You have a great time. Love you. Bye, son. Right when you get work. Bye, Luna. Oh. Bye, dear. Bye, bye. Bye. Look at him. He's so cute. Yeah. Such a little man. They grow oh, up so a... fast. Hmm. <gasps> oh. Oh, alone at last. Now, you're speaking about growing up. Oh. I think it's time to separate the men from the boys and the dogs. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess you just kind of talked me into that one. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> last one up to the bed is a rotten rotabaga. Oh. oh, boy. Go away! Oh, yeah, it's probably Nigel. Forgot his key. Well, whoever it is, they're leaving. Hey, hey, Max, shuffle those cards. The carpenters have arrived as promised. Promise? Promise, the big bridge night. Come on. You didn't forget. I mean, you wouldn't forget, would you, baby? I dreaded this visit to the doctor. I had, uh... You know when Aladdin rubs the magic lamp mm. and makes a wish? <laughs> yes, the genie appears and makes the wish come true. Here I am. Sometimes I wonder if Aladdin isn't maybe just a little afraid. So afraid that he wants to put the genie back in the bottle. Be careful what you wish for. I've been careful. in a real world they where do you look for them i think right where i'm looking now mm. you know what i'm wishing no what i'm wishing we'd stop talking so much <laughs> <laughs> there that smile told me everything i need to know this is what we wished for this is what we want French fries, then we'll grab the potato skins. Just don't get sour cream on my laptop. Oh. 
My appetite went south as soon as Marty Saybrook became a suspect. A possible uh, suspect. Well, you, yeah. Oh, but we can't go through the computer printouts on two empty stomachs. Besides, I got a bottle of wine upstairs that brings out the best in grease and ketchup. What was it Chateau T Bird, 1993? You get to pull the cork. Oh, heck, a cork? Well, I am impressed. It's not a twist off. Do I look like a twist off kind of girl? Mm -hmm. I paid $3.99 for that bottle. <laughs> Hey, Marty, Rick's got a break in a few minutes if you want to hang out with us. Cute couple, aren't they? Who? Nora Gannon and Bobby Cannon. Chummy as can be. Only she's supposed to be my lawyer. Oh, my friend. What? So she claimed when he was trying to crucify me. You mean since you trashed the window at the oh, back? The point is, Nora Gannon was never on my side. She was probably pals with him even then. Maybe more than pals. Doubtful, Marty. I mean, Rachel's mom is a really good attorney. She must have done her best by you because you're not in jail. Want a bet? Marty, don't. It's a free country, Billy. You can be gay, you can be drunk, you can be whatever you want to be. It's America. Just just cut it out, okay? Because it's not going to solve anything. And what's it to you? Look, can't you see? I, I care about you. Oh, right. You're my friend, right? Is that so hard to believe? Andrew said he was my friend, that he cared deeply about me. Deeply. He still does. Bull! He couldn't wait to drop me. Wash his hands, as he put it. He only cares about Cassie. Marty, Cassie is his wife. That Andrew doesn't mean... And Cassie, Bo and Nora, you and Rick. Me and my friend. So let me just keep my one good friend, okay? What is this, a wishing well motel? All these lovey-dovey creeps make me sick. Fire up. This could be a false alarm. Uh, we can't take the chance. Come on. Well, no, we can't go out together. Somebody might see if, us. If there's a fire, we have to get down to the lobby. Come on, come on, come on. Please, everyone, don't panic, and you'll be able to get to the fire exit more quickly. Please. You see what you've done? Awesome, huh? Look at him, Billy. They're not so happy and lovey-dovey now, are they? Please, everybody, don't panic. We don't know why the alarm went off. It could be a, a, an accident or a tank. Good guess, Ray. You never can be too sure. You think this is funny, Marty, huh? People could have gotten hurt. Oh, lighten up. Renee! Renee! What are, you, what are you doing? Somebody has to tell her it was a prank. Somebody has to call up the fire trucks, all right? Renee! You can't! Let go, Marty. Billy, I'm begging you. Don't tell her I pulled the alarm. Look, I, I can't let these people be running around here thinking that... It'll be over soon. Okay, everybody, the alarm has gone off. Now we can find out what happened. Everyone just be calm, all right? See, Renee's got everything under control. So let's just take a deep breath and realize it was nothing like a fire drill at school. Uh, no, no, Marty, this is a lot more serious than that, Billy! All right? You can't tell her I pulled the alarm. If you do, she'll kick me out of here. She may even press charges and one more strike against me. Look, you should have thought about that before you pulled the alarm. It's the booth. I guess I have more than I thought. Please don't make things worse than they are. If you meant what you said about caring for me, then you won't say anything. You'll keep quiet, please, Billy. I am such an idiot. I, okay, I won't Thank say you. anything about you're it. You're the best. You're Look, wrong. save the compliments, Marty, all right? 
Get a grip on yourself because you're out of control. It must be contagious. Hey, hey, we're in here. Oh. We're open up. Hey, open up. We're trapped in this elevator. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. It's not going to do any good to scream and pound on the door. Oh, and would you have a, a better idea, I guess? Huh? I always have a better idea. Sure. A, the alarm has stopped, if you hadn't noticed. And B, once everyone has calmed down, I'm sure they'll respond to our distress signal. Which signal? Hey! Or, hey! No, the one that the elevator company has provided for us right here. It's called an emergency button. That was utterly brilliant. I just didn't push it hard enough, that's all. These things don't get used very often, you know. I think maybe sometimes these emergency devices need a little kick in the button. Just your step. No, 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 no me... I can handle this. I can handle this. I just, I just didn't hit it hard enough, that's all. You see, it works. It's supposed to work for an emergency. It will work for an emergency because this is an emergency. It's going to work because this is an emergency. Somebody help us. We're stuck. Help. <laughs> Mm -mm. Looks like I'm gonna have to get you back for finesse and my queen. Well, finesse was never one of Max's strong suits. <laughs> Double and redouble. You guys are losing your lead. Yeah. Show no mercy, partner. All's fair in bridge and war. I thought it was love. You know, some partners don't mind a bold approach. <laughs> Your bit, Luna. <laughs> Luna. Luna. Oh, sorry. It's your bit. Um. <laughs> what? It's your bit. Come on, One heart. Out. One heart. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Cassie, mm. show them how it's done. Your um, bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Two diamonds. Ooh, bold move, mm -hmm. Mrs. Carpenter. Well, wow, you guys don't have anything up on us gals, isn't that right, Jesse? Yes. <laughs> Play it on, Luna. <laughs> What's your bid? Oh, too hard. Mm. <laughs> I'll pass. Pass. Three diamonds. Whoa. Hmm. <clears throat> Hoo-ah. <gasps> Oh, I was right. <laughs> well, 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 back to me now. <laughs> What's the girl to do? <laughs> oh, I got a few ideas. <laughs> Be careful. No signals. No signals. Oh, as if I'd do something like that. <laughs> Andrew! What? <laughs> Andrew, I'm trying to concentrate. Don't. Don't what? I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Uh-oh, looks like our newlyweds are playing footsies out of the day. Uh -oh. I wasn't. I was not. I wasn't. <laughs> I sure wasn't with that. Three hearts. <laughs> <laughs>